All right, this is the Plano, Texas real estate housing market update for April 2023. We're going to cover the Plano market in three different sections. First, a quick current snapshot of activity in the last seven days. So what's happening right now? The second thing we're going to do is going to go over the Plano real estate market at the end of last month, including trend charts and where you can find them anytime. And third, we're going to go over what's available, meaning as of right now here in Plano, Texas. Hey, today's date is April 14th. If you look down on the bottom corner of my screen here, you can see it's April 14th, it's 2.32 p.m. Okay, so the first thing we look at was what happened here in the last seven days here in Plano, Texas. And as you can see, we had 40 new listings right here. And we had 39 closed listings, which is pretty much sold listings here in the last seven days here in Plano, Texas. Again, this is for single family residents home. You can pause this video and take a look at the other numbers. Main numbers we like to look at is what comes on the market is what and what's leaving the market. All right, so he's pretty much balanced right now. And a quick reminder, I am a local real estate agent here in Plano, Texas. So feel free to reach out to me anytime through text, email, or call, and I'll be glad to help in any way possible. All right, so let's go see how last month closed out, all right? All right, I'm gonna leave a link to this page as well. This is uh, Plano real estate.info and the housing market. This is for the this page here is for the entire city of Plano. If you want to look at your zip code, just come over here and click on your zip code. You get the same information except it's narrowed down for your zip code. All right. Again, this is for the for the whole city of Plano. And as you can see, the the median sales price it actually went up. Uh, last month it was four ninety two five hundred. I'm sorry. Last month it was five oh seven eight eighty, and it climbed up again and closed out March for five twenty five. So it's on the way back up. You can see we had a high. Over here, 580 in May. Again, we're going back into the summer months, and we all kind of knew this was going to be happening. Uh, prices start cl climbing back up. Hold on, I'll show you something else. One more thing: make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with anyone that could find this info useful. All right, appreciate it. Now here we are with the median price per square foot. As you can see, this number as well went up. It went from 208 to 216, so just a little bit of an increase there. And now check this number out. It was at 25 days. Uh, median days on market from 25 and it dropped all the way down to 11. And what that's telling us is the, the inventory that's on the market is starting to move rather quickly, all right? Which equates to pretty much uh, demand getting higher. Now, as you can see, this is the uh, month of inventory. The previous month was uh, 0.8, but was it's pretty much the same as now it's 0.9, but it's still less than one month of supply left. That's actually pretty low. Hold on, hold on. And this just gives you the actual number of uh, homes for sale that's on inventory. So we went from 167 uh, to 183. Hold, hold on. Now, this is going to provide a little bit of relief. If you see the new listings last last month, it closed out for February, was at 144. And then this March, it had 230 new prop or new listings on the market for uh, for Plano, for single family homes. So that that's going to provide a little bit of relief and it might keep that price from uh, skyrocketing too high. Hold on. And we can see right now we had 169 closed listings. So we had more closed listings than the previous month. All right, now let's take a look at what's available in Plano, Texas right now. Hold on. Okay, so I'm going to leave a link to this page as well. This is everything that's available here in Plano, Texas for single family homes. As you can see, we have 145 properties that's for sale in Plano that's active right now. I weeded out all the contingents and the pending. So this is what's available right now. And so you can either click on the map or come over here and click on, on each listing to get more information. All right, now you can change this as well. Uh, come over here and you can put in your zip code. Come back here, enter zip code. And remember, you still got plane up here, so you can go up here and close that one out. And there you go. You got nine properties that are actively for sale in the 75075 zip code here in Plano, Texas. All right, now also feel free to come over here and you can look about. There's a one right here that says how to customize. You can click on that page and it'll run you through how to make this website your very own, where you can have your own blog in and start uh, keeping track of properties that you want to, which is good to have. If you're thinking about selling your house, you got to kind of keep an eye on the market, what's happening around you. And, or if you need any help, just give me a holler and I'll be glad to help you out. I've got something else to show you. So don't go nowhere. All right. So I'm gonna leave a link to this page as well. This is the Freddie Mac interest rates here. They track this every Thursday. And as you can see, we had the latest highs about a little over 7%. And again, this is the Freddie Mac interest rates. And I like to use the same thing constantly because uh, all the other lenders and depending on which, how you qualify, what your credit is, it's going gonna, it's gonna to fluctuate. I just use it as a baseline. So you kind of know if it's going up or down. And right now it's kind of leveled out. Um, as you can see right here, it hasn't gone back up. Right now, the 30 year is at 6.27 and the 15 is 5.54, which is not too bad, not too bad. Um, it's been a lot worse before, right? Anyhow, so what is all this saying? Hey, we're coming into summer months 
inventory, as you can see, has increased. So there's going to be a lot of activity. People tend to start moving around a lot uh, in preparation for school ending. They try to get everything in the summer months. They, a lot of them want to be settled in before school starts in the fall. Personally, I don't see the, the pricing actually going down. It may hover a little bit before it starts going back up. Activity normally picks up around the summertime. One more thing I want to show you. Hold on. All right, I'll leave a link to this page as well. This page has uh, quite a few videos on it. So if you're thinking about selling or buying, there's a lot of information in here. Just click on one of these here and it gives you a video tutorial on that subject. Best way to sell. And I got them sectioned off into certain sections. You're like, before making a decision to sell your home, it's got some videos here. Deciding to sell, got some more videos in there. Uh, determining the price, what is the CMA? All this information is in there, is in video format try to help explain in case you need something like that and you're not ready to talk to an agent just quite yet. Hey, and don't forget to reach out if you need a hand with anything with your real estate services. All right, take care and have a blessed day.